Jin is his name. This young man was fleeing from Tekken's guards. He had taken the Tekken device. Now he's rushing across a city. He sells a combatant one of Tekken's devices. Jin was a fighter who wanted to be a part of his team. Jin, on the other hand, was not prepared for this. Jin gives this warrior the device and accepts payment from him. He then departs from this location. The satellite system is passed by Jin. The host of Tekken is announcing that the Tekken tournament will be conducted in a few days. Later, as he returns home, Jin goes to a pub and takes several items from there. Some individuals encourage him to enter the tournament. He does, however, forbid all of them one more time. Because his mother had requested that he stay away from the Tekken match. Tekken Corporation's boss Heihachi on the other hand. Kazuya is the name of his son. They're both getting ready for the tournament. Guards should be replaced, Kazuya says to his father. Because some of the guards aren't doing their jobs correctly. But Heihachi tells his son, right now, work on the security issues. Jin, on the other hand, returns to his house and presents the oranges to his mother to eat. His mother inquires, where did you get this money? I want to compete in the Tekken tournament. He tells his mom. His mother, however, exclaims angrily, I have already forbidden you. Stay away from Tekken fights and tournaments. Hearing his mother's directions, Jin became irritated. And he didn't want to live the rest of his life in poverty. With this, he also inquires about his father from his mother. His mother informs him, your father is no more. When Jin hears this, he becomes enraged because his mother always offers the same explanation. After that, he leaves the house. As he walks out of the house, he sees a girl with whom he has feelings. There is a picture of Heihachi's son there, who has discovered Jin's head. When Kazuya arrives, he kills his boss. Because Jin stole a device that belonged to Tekken City. Later, Tekken Force locates Jin's home. This power makes its way to his home. Jin's mother is questioned by Tekken Force, who displays his photo. What is the name of this young man? Jin's mother, on the other hand, does not tell them the truth. On the other hand, Jin learns that her mother's life is in jeopardy. And he dashes back to his house to protect his mother. However, Kazuya detonates a bomb in Jin's home. When Jin arrived to his house, the entire house was destroyed. Jin finds his mother's Tekken ID in the rubble of the collapsed house. When Jin saw this, he was taken aback because this ID is only provided to Tekken fighters. He didn't understand, his mother was a Tekken fighter, but she also advised Jin to stay away from the game. Heihachi was being blamed by Jin for his mother's death. Now he will exact vengeance on him for his mother's death. To revenge his mother, he will now compete in the Tekken tournament. In a Tekken combat, Jin will have to face a man named Martial Law. When Jin arrives, a guy offers each of them the opportunity to participate in the tournament. In the last round, only two warriors remain, including Jin. When the first warrior encounters Martial Law, he flees in terror after being defeated by him. After then, Jin is summoned to the ring. First and foremost, Jin is losing the fight, but he recalls his mother's previous training. Who did he have as a child to train him? And his mother had told him, you can't lose the game unless you resign. Jin is energized after recalling his mother's words. He battles and defeats his opponent. Kazuya and Heihachi are also watching this match. Steve tells Jin after winning the bout, every fighter has his own support. You don't have someone to rely on. He also notifies Jin about the paperwork that he will be required to submit. In addition, this man will receive 30% of the winnings. On the other hand, Kazuya, who is celebrating something, can be seen. When his father arrives, he says, what triumph are you celebrating? He claims that we have apprehended a criminal gang. This is a cause for celebration. Kazuya's father tells him, you haven't grasped it yet. When are you going to grow up? It is imperative that we win the Tekken tournament. Winning the Tekken tournament increases your prestige. Winning the tournament means you've won the world. On this, Heihachi departs from that location. And his son was enraged with his father. On the other hand, Jin and Steve can be seen, who have arrived at the tournament location. On the other hand, Kazuya is handing over a list of fighters' names to his father, who is taking part in the fight. And he's also telling them about their powers. Jin, on the other hand, meets with all of the warriors. Upon seeing him, all of the combatants exclaim, he's still a youngster. In the tournament, Jin is given the room of martial law. 
After some time has passed, the tournament begins. In the second round, Jin arrives. And he wins the match while recalling his mother's training. Heihachi notices his son Kazuya, who is unhappy with Jin's match. He didn't understand why Jin was causing him so much annoyance. Kazuya appears in the next scene, and she meets Jin. My father is greatly inspired by your martial arts, he says. Jin tells him, after meeting him, I shall gratify Heihachi. Kazuya tells him that if he keeps battling like this, he will undoubtedly get the opportunity to meet my father. Kazuya also tells Jin, your martial art looks so familiar to me. Was it customary for your father to participate in this tournament? Jin says, no. My father is a mystery to me. He is no longer alive. Then a man stood nearby, listening to their chat. Who is Jin's coach? As Kazuya walks away, that man inquires about their chat. On this, Jin responds, mind your own business. Furthermore, Kazuya is portrayed as being taken aback by the martial technique of Jin, which appears to be quite familiar. He looks into the background of Jin. He is aware of the identity of Jin's mother. Noe Jin goes to a club with a female and has a great time. When they arrive home, two men attack Jin. Following the assassination attempt by two assassins, a loud noise erupted from Jin's room. The girl who walked outside with Jin comes into his room to save him. Following that, the assassins of Jin leave the room. Following that, this girl follows Jin to his trainer. Jin's trainer informs him, I knew Jin's foes would try to murder him. However, Jin displays his mother's Tekken ID, who used to be a Tekken city fighter. The trainer and the girl request that Jin remain hidden on this. Get out of here. Participate in the tournament only if you really want to. Because your life is in jeopardy. Jin then exclaims, damn this tournament. All I have to do now is avenge Heihachi. Those two assailants who had come to kill Jin are also exposed. They were warriors. Who was it that Kazuya had dispatched? However, they were unable to assassinate Jin. And Kazuya was particularly active in this regard. When the tournament is held the next day, it is revealed, by looking at that fighter, that she is the same fighter that came in the middle of the night to murder Jin. That combatant had a battle with one of Jin's friends. Jin tells her, last night, your opponent fighter came to kill me. On this, his companion erupts in wrath. And she triumphs against her opponent. Last night, someone came to take Jin's life. Kazuya appears afterwards. Who had paid a visit to a half-robot. This is a reality that no one in tournament is aware of. Kazuya tells that man, you must kill Jin. He does not, however, allow Jin to be killed. But Kazuya blackmails him, threatening to reveal that he is half-robot if he does not kill Jin. Jin's hands are seen to be badly injured in the next scene. On this, his trainer Steve hands him his gloves. The contestant had now become the semi-finalist with whom Jin had a fight. When Heihachi learns about this, he requests that the player be changed. His son, on the other hand, bans his father from doing so. Because Kazuya is the tournament's security chief. This is the reason, and his command is obeyed by all of the guards in the area. Now he commands that the combat between Jin and that warrior be continued. Jin's bout with the fighter from the semi-final is now underway. Kazuya has now informed Heihachi that Jin is his son. Jin will now be ended by the semi-final participant. Because he was so well trained, Heihachi activates the security system. As a result, that semi-focus finalist is diverted. Jin takes advantage of the situation and defeats the semi-finalist. Later, when Kazuya captures all of the combatants, odd things happen. And he notifies all fighters that the fight will take place again, but with new rules and restrictions. At the end of the match, only one combatant will be left. Because one of its rules will be, do or die. After that, Kazuya departs, stating that the tournament will resume the following day. All of the rules had now made all of the warriors worry. Now, all of the warriors have decided to flee because everyone knows that if everyone leaves, the tournament will be cancelled. One of the fighters is shot while fleeing. They all dash to Heihachi's location. To get outdoors, Steve asks Heihachi about the security codes for the doors. When Jin saw Heihachi here, he became enraged. He was certain that Heihachi was to blame for his mother's death. Because Jin had been injured and was unable to revenge Heihachi. On the other hand, it is Steve who, through his hardships, sets Jin free. When Kazuya realizes that all of the fighters have escaped. 
He then orders all of his guards to apprehend all of the warriors. Furthermore, Heihachi appears, revealing to Jin, I am your grandfather. And it is my son who is to blame for your mother's death. It implies that it is due of your father. Jin's grandfather informs him, when your father Kazuya tried to kill your mother, I was her savior, and I got her to a safe place. Jin's grandfather informs him, previously, there was only one Tekken heir. However, there are now two heirs. While this conversation was taking place, Kazuya assaulted them all with his guards. During the assault, Steve also loses his life. Not only that, but Kazuya also exploits his own father. He also refers to himself as Tekken's heir. The event has resumed according to the Kazuya rules. These regulations are extremely strict and difficult to follow because only one warrior will live in the end. The losers will be put to death. The tournament's final round may be observed, and Jin was also present. He was thinking about his mother's competent and rigorous instruction. Now he realized that his mother had put him through rigorous training for this purpose, so that he might fight for humanity rather than himself. Jin beats his opponent by exploiting his weak spot. Now Kazuya was observing everything and had no idea what was going on. How much effort had he put in to kill Jin? However, he was unable to assassinate Jin. After that, he becomes a participant in the tournament. And he was prepared to confront Jin. Kazuya was a stronger character than Jin. He thrashes Jin mercilessly. Jin was about to meet his death here, but then Christy, Jin's buddy, appears and breaks the glass pane while shooting her gun. Kazuya's attention has been drawn away from him. Jin assaults Kazuya and pulls his abdomen apart as his attention is diverted. Kazuya did not die, but Jin was planning another attack. Jin, on the other hand, does not kill Kazuya. Later, Jin's friend Christy appears on stage and announces Jin as the champion of the tournament. 